Hi everyone, Kelly here, and today I want to talk about a readathon that I am hosting with my friend Kara from Wild Book Garden that runs the entire month of January, and it's called the Short Stack Readathon. This is the second year that we've done this, but this is following kind of what I have done in January for my reading for like the last four years. And that is to read a bunch of short things right at the beginning of the year so that I can jumpstart like my TBR. I can feel like I'm accomplishing things. I can get a lot read in January. So it feels like I'm starting off the year on a good note. And sometimes I forget to read short things like you're like there's other like stuff on my TBR that I'm getting to that's longer and I forget to slot in those short story collections or some of those other things that I keep thinking oh I'll fit them in somewhere and then I forget to fit them in so this is like the perfect time for me to kind of read a lot of those short things all at once and let me just clarify that we're saying for short works it can be anything our kind of rule of thumb is like under 250 pages but obviously if you have a book that's 270 pages and you feel like that's a short book to you go ahead and use it whatever feels like you can accomplish it in a shorter amount of time and get through more things. And this also can be any type of short thing. So it could be a novella or just a short story or um, a graphic novel or manga or a poetry collection, whatever that you can read um, a little more quickly than reading like a 500 page novel. And for this year, we decided to do a bingo board for the readathon. And you can treat this bingo board however you want. You could like fill out all of the prompts. You could just do one row. Um, you can use one novella could count for five different prompts, then that's fine. Do whatever you want with the bingo board. It's just, I like a checklist to feel like even more accomplished. So this is like another thing that you can like, oh, I accomplished two bingos in January reading these short things on my TBR. And the way we organized the bingo board was that each row is kind of a different topic. So if you want to kind of stick to all one type of way of organizing your reading, you could just do a horizontal row. Or if you want a little more variety, do a vertical row or a diagonal and now mix things up. I'm just going to go through the prompts really quickly, starting with the first row. The first row is just types of different short things you can read. So if you just read one of each of these types of short works, then you will have gotten a bingo. So we've got a novella, a short story, poetry, and that could be one poem or an entire collection. You decide. Um, a graphic novel or manga, or that could be a comic book, whatever. And then the last one is short novel. Then the second row is kind of like accomplishing goals because, you know, beginning of the year, often we want to make up goals and like accomplish things. So that's what the second row is. So we have continuous series that you've already started. Um, the second prompt is to, that it fits a goal. So that can be any goal that you have. Like maybe you have a list of certain books you want to read in 2024 and one of them is short. You could fit it in here or maybe you're really on a roll with a novella series and so you've used one of them for continuous series you can read the next one for fits a goal however you want to interpret that and then we have previous tbr which just means that you have at some point said i was going to read this book and i didn't get to it that's a previous tbr a 2023 release maybe you just didn't get to something you wanted to read last year and the last one on that is longest on tbr and that does not mean longest in pages that means the one that's been longest sitting on your TBR. So maybe you've owned it for two years um, or it just has been in your head that I've wanted to read this book for the last like a year and I just didn't get it done. So whatever you count as longest on your TBR. Then the next row is just like the fun prompts. It also has the free space. So that is also fun. So we have a trope you love, um, a friend recommendation, a favorite genre and the last one on that row is birthday month cover and that can be interpreted however you want just however that cover reminds you of your birthday so for me i was born in may so i might pick a book that has a green cover because my um, birthstone is an emerald or maybe um since like i said my birthday is in may that makes me think of flowers because that's when all the flowers are coming out in the spring. So I pick a cover that has a lot of flowers on it. However, it makes you think of your birthday. Then the next row is just genre. So this is another one that is really easy to accomplish. So if you want like a little variety, like you want to read different genres, but you don't want to think too much about how to fit your books into different prompts, you could just do this one, which is different genres. So we have nonfiction. The second one is speculative fiction, and that can be fantasy, sci-fi, horror, anything that's kind of in the speculative, not like real life type of genre. And then we have romance, 
then historical, and the last in that row is mystery thriller. So that's an easy way to kind of diversify your reading without having to like think through the prompts that much. Then the last row is prompts that help us think into 2024. So the first one is a four-word title because of 2024. And then we have most anticipated, so the one that you're really looking forward to getting to in 2024 that's on the shorter side. Um, a new author, maybe there's somebody that you've been meaning to get to. Maybe there's an author that you really want to try their short stories to see if you like their writing before you read one of their novels. So this would be a good time to just pick up their short story and say, do I like their writing style or not? And then we have start a series because it's always kind of fun to start off the year with a new series. And then we have winter feel. And obviously not everybody has winter type weather in January. Um, but you know where I'm at, it is definitely going to be winter weather in January. So we're going with something that has a wintry feel to you. And maybe that isn't snow if you are in a place with winter that's different. So however you interpret winter feeling. And that's it. Those are the prompts. And you know, you feel free to use the bingo board on like um, Instagram or wherever you can tag us and see what your bingos are um, or just use it yourself to check things off. I love a good like bingo board to be able to like look at all the things that I have done this month accomplishing all of these you know prompts and we try to make some of them really easy so that you can you know check off a lot of things. Um, also think outside of the box with your books that are small. So like I'm gonna read some plays which read really fast and I'm going to read like some poetry. I'm definitely going to read some things that are graphic, like graphic memoirs or graphic novels or like maybe a whole manga series. So like kind of think outside of the box. You don't have to just read novellas and short stories, whatever seems good to you. You could even read something from a magazine. Like maybe you had a magazine subscription and you never read any of the articles. Go through and read the articles. It's something quick to read when you're sitting down for like 10 minutes. You might want to read an article. And that counts for the readathon because it's something short that you're um, able to slot in and read. Let us know down below if you plan on participating and I will see you next time. Bye.